A Jack Daniels swilling pizza eating, dog hating, whore using, cocaine abusing, hairy back, big belly blowhard from New Jersey. The fat little bastard known as Artie Lang. <laughs> you know what? This is going to sound crazy. I, I'm, I'm dead serious. You have to stop pointing like that. It's like Hitler. The way you, the, no, the, it's like you go like this, you go. It's really, it makes me nervous. Just go like, all right. D just do like, you know, we're two human beings. Just, all right. You're on. Let's go. You see, you, you know, you see what you do there? It snaps. Like, it's like, you go. <clears throat> it's a, an old habit. Maybe yeah. I'll give you the sting thing. Yeah, that's, even, that's even, well, that's weird. <laughs> Especially being known as a drug addict. That's weird. If other, <laughs> if other people are here and you go like this, it's going to be weird. And Pure. you'll be implicated. So it should be like, uh, just, just like, you know, two casual men. <laughs> Everything you do is very. I mean, you're very anxious. I, I do you have heart? Do you have your heart, your heart checked about for that? I mean, you jump. I'm, I'm telling you this as a frat of affection. I, I, you're very, very anxious. Uh, we, it seems honestly. Again, you look like my daughter, my my sister's dog. The dog that shivers like, <laughs> like something happened to it. I, I, there's a lot of evidence towards you were abused. <laughs> oh, there was no abuse. I mean, you, it, like you were raped or something. No. During the, no. During the, the naked no. pool thing. No. Because you act like, whoa. No. Like someone's about to attack you. What, did Mark Grace ever attack you? No, no. he did not. <laughs> did one of those filthy whores you ever brought over attack yeah. you? Uh, yeah, they, a couple girls came up once and... Did, did, did they do something to you? Strap on something? <laughs> no, no. We no. were beaten? No, 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 never beaten. I think the truth about why you left high school is very, <laughs> very traumatic. I mean, a rich kid just doesn't leave high. A rich white kid just doesn't leave school. They and my dad leave. never, my own dad only hit me once. What happened? We were at the Italian festival uh, in Chicago on Taylor Street. Right. And uh, you know how the, the Italians, they all like the uh, the clams and the oysters that, uh, okay. you know, with the Tabasco? I'm one, I'm one of them, yeah. Okay, I said, it, w it was like 110 degrees out, and I said, shouldn't those be refrigerated? And he smacked me. He smacked me. He goes, shut up. Why? Why was he mad at that? Yeah, cause he, he's like, because I always ask stupid questions, he, th he said. Well, that's, uh, <laughs> he thought that was a stupid question? Yes, yeah. Well. Were you 30? <laughs> no. I think I was five or six. Were you in Lederhosen? <laughs> no, I was not. That's for a five, actually, for a five or six year old, that's actually a very bright thing. Yeah, that, you know. apparently that irritated my dad. But that's a very bright, uh, that shows a lot of intelligence, <laughs> like for a five or six year old to think that, you know, oh. to, to make that observation. And they all, all my cousins and uncles had the Dago teas on and Tabasco sauce in the Beginning front. teas? Yeah. You call them Dago teas? Yeah. Why? That's what they call them. They never heard of guinea. We call them guinea. Teas. We call them dago teas. Is that true? Wow. Yes. I never thought. Well, <laughs> that's odd. I never heard of dago tea, but Chicago wants to be its own thing. They probably heard the guinea tea. They said, "Fuck you." We're calling them dago teas. <laughs> that's exactly right. Of right. course, it's so rebellious. <laughs> Fuck New York. Yeah, no, that, that's how you see that. Oh, that jumping. <laughs> You but you probably have more anger in you than anyone I know, because when it comes out, wow, it is a it is a jolting, jolting. And I look, I you have to you have to make a breakthrough. It's like the Prince of Tide. You have to eventually tell Barbara Streisand about when you were raped, and your whole family. I, I don't know. Maybe the kid that, that kid Bozak that was not raped. Did Bozak rape you in class? <laughs> Paul Koziak? No, he did not. Bozak in the naked class. <laughs> I bet you could describe Bozak's cock to a T. <laughs> Down to scars and shit like that. I was subject to the most humiliating exam. Remember that Michael Jackson? Oh, God, that fucking... I was subject to the most humiliating <laughs> exam that any human being would be so disgusted by. Oh, God! <laughs> and they were forced... To, they made my doggy... Look at me. Is this dog involved or something? They made my doggy come. They said that... that I, okay... I'm a 40-year-old world-famous musician. Of course I like to sleep in the same bed as children. A health that's healthy. I love the feel of a child. And these disgusting people are mad that I've gone to bed with their children. 
Yeah, they come to my place. We go in the Matilda world. We go in the merry-go-round. I, and then I tape them. I fly them to Las Vegas and buy them $4 million <laughs> worth of toys. It's Neverland. It's Neverland. And then we go in and uh, they get naked. I get naked and we get in bed and we snuggle. What is wrong with that? <laughs> You're taking away the beauty of life. <sighs> and I, think ever, I never, I never, my erection never touches your child. It's fully boarded up. My erection is so far away from your child. I have staff, as a matter of fact, who tells me that they're paid lots of money a year to make sure my cock never gets within a foot, you know, my erection. I mean, uh, let me go in another direction with this. I, I just, you know, we go on the train. They love the train, your children. And sometimes engineers are naked. I tell them that. The engineer of a train isn't always fully clothed. They always have that hat on, sure, but the rest of them doesn't need, I mean, on a hot day, forget it. I'm teaching them about life on a hot day. You don't have to wear that whole train outfit. It's, oh, it's hot. And you're trying, you know, I don't run a strict, uh, I'm not a taskmaster. And, you know, I think the people say to me, oh, I'm teaching the children how to ride a train. Why are they naked? It's hot out. And they tell me, Uncle Michael, it's hot. And I love them so much. Uncle Michael. I don't want to see them naked. I don't want to, I mean, I do want to see them naked. I mean, I don't want to see them naked. I mean, I don't want to see them sweating with clothes on. <laughs> The, the, oh, the little faces are so hot and human. And, and, and then they, they say, of course, you know, they, they wouldn't be hot and human if they were home in the house they grew, are growing up in, like normal kids, and, the, and you were here, not with them. <laughs> Do you think he wished he went to Taft High School to swim naked? That's, you know. <laughs> and then there's Dan Falata with the naked story. It's so disturbing. And I told the kids, I said, oh, I know, he's disgusting. He's such a weirdo. I think Dan's a weirdo. I'd like to be as white as him. <laughs> but from a distance with the arm hair, he looks black. It's weird. It's odd. <laughs> I'm adding this to your list of voices. Yeah. The Michael Jackson voice. This is voice. Michael Jackson voice. <laughs> this is me. I just be sad. I'm sad for the children. I mean, I'm being indicted. I'm being, I'm being singled out because I'm an African-American who wants to be white, a feminine pop star. <laughs> what is the odd thing about wanting to take your child around my enormous house by myself with, with, without the, uh, beyond the eyesight of bodyguards and, and tell you to come back in 18 hours and, and then, you know, just put the kid in pajamas and take him to uh, the Neverland Mall and then take him to Las Vegas to buy like $14 million worth of Hummels and then come home on a private jet and, and then, you know, tell, tell him that, you know, Michael's bedroom is the Chamber of Secrets, of course, and, and show him where I taped Dirty Diana. Ugh. And explain to them the premise of Dirty Diana and what she does and have them see if they get uh, excited. And then I take them downstairs and their poor little faces when I take them on the train. It's so hot in Pasadena. This is the valley. It's an August day and he gets so hot, his cute little face. And he says, Uncle Michael, I'm so hot. It's so hot here in Pasadena. And I say, well, those clothes look so cumbersome. And he goes, Uncle Michael, I'm crying. I'm so hot. Can I take my clothes off? What am I going to say? No. Is Uncle Michael going to say No. Uncle Michael says yes, yes. Put your put your uh, put, put take take them off. Take those clothes off. <laughs> and, and oh my God, am I and, am I odd for hiding his clothes in case he gets the gumption to uh, by mistake to put his clothes on and then he, he realizes he's hot again. And then because he put his clothes on by mistake, he's sweating again in that face. He's crying and he starts to develop acne. And quite frankly, who wants to fuck a kid with that? I mean, drive a kid with that? I mean, who wants your friend to have acne? <laughs> You know, and then, and then, you know, the pus comes out of the zits and everything. Oh. And sometimes it gets on my lips, my canker, but I mean, I'm whatever, and I get the canker show separately. And then, you know, I never touched them with my canker. It's such a, it was ridiculous. I'm just kidding around. Mm. And, 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 you know, so yeah, I sure I hide the clothes in the Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> and they go to put their clothes on. They're like, Uncle Michael, where's our clothes? I'm like, I don't want you to put them back on again. Remember how hot you were? And they said, yeah, but now our private parts are feeling cold. I said, what? They said our bodies are, 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 are you know, uh, feel well, feel nice and cool, but our, you know, they feel normal temperature and we're comfortable. I'm like, that's great. So the taking your clothes off is working. And then they say, no, but Uncle Michael, our private parts, it's weird because there's warm blood down there or something. Our private parts are very cold. And then I, I mean, is it crazy for me to say, look, I know a place where it'll be warm. And of course, it's Uncle Michael's mouth. I mean, is it weird? Uh. I mean. So now, so so I put their private parts in my mouth, 
another pro- and I say I, I look up I can't speak at that point I've got a mouth full of a boy boycock and I say listen I sort of nod in a crazy sort of language that we made up and of course I'm nodding with um, uh, his cock in my mouth and it's moist and sure he might get an erection it's natural I, I don't care he doesn't care it's not awkward we're friends we're friends so technically, at this point, if you t- took a picture from a distance, it looks like I'm probably blowing him. <laughs> and technically, I guess I am. But that's not the point. I'm not blowing him. Don't you understand? I'm not giving oral sex to your seven-year-old son. I'm just storing his cock in my mouth where it's nice and warm because his cock is cold. And the rest of him is naked. It's because he nests me. Hey, my God, are you listening to me? And then after he ejaculates, he goes, where's my clothes? And then I give him my clothes. And then I'm satisfied. He's satisfied. Everything's warm. The train ride stops. We go to the Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> He puts his clothes on. We take a shower. He takes a shower. I mean, it's a big shower. <laughs> it's a big shower. <laughs> and we both put our jammies on. I have his jammies. I got his size. From when I stuck them, he fought. I mean, from when he, took, from when he sent over his sizes. And then, of course, we get in the bed. And then, you know, we're in the bed. And then we watch something like, I don't know, Mr. Magorium Secret uh, Age Show, whatever that does not, whatever. And we watch, you know, my, I watch a Jude Law Marathon and, you know. <laughs> Oh, God. I have Jude Law getting out of the tub naked and the talented Mr. Ripley uh, on a loop. <laughs> and I show it to the boy, not not because Jude Law is naked, and because it's fantastic acting. <laughs> and I want the boy to learn about it. Is that so crazy? Oh. Is that so crazy? <laughs> and then I call Elizabeth Taylor up and I have him talk to Elizabeth <laughs> Taylor. I mean, what, nine, what 10-year-old boy doesn't want to talk to Elizabeth Taylor? It's a natural <laughs> boy thing to do. And we talk about National Velvet now. She was a kid and... You know, we talk about some of her loves with Richard Burton. I tell you know, about how she put on some weight for Cleopatra and the, the Joan Rivers jokes and how Joan Rivers was fat shaming. Fat shaming and body judging and Margaret Cho would never put up with it nowadays. I think that's fantastic. And, the, and you know, and then we get the clothes back on and we take them outside. And of course, he's crying. It's a long day and a couple of nights. And then, of course, he cries and cries. And, you know, nothing happened. There was no assault there. I never came in his asshole or anything, I, you know. I mean, his mouth isn't an asshole. I mean, calm down. I mean, I think you're being disgusting. All that happened was, is technically, he blew me. I swallowed him. He just swam naked and slept naked. And took a shower. That's all. And it was also innocent. And I feel very comfortable. And then when he gets to the car, he starts to cry. He realizes what he did was shameful. And he put, you know, he started an after-school special once. Those fucking after-school specials ruined me with Mer- Baxter Beardy. And, and, and then he starts to cry, and the parents are like, why are you crying? And they, he tells them, you know, because Michael, this, Michael, Uncle Michael, blah, blah, blah. And I explain to myself, no, listen, you don't understand. I was keeping them warm and blah, blah, blah. They don't want to hear any of it. And they're so self-righteous. They said, we're going to stop you from doing this to other people. Uh, my, my child is going to be the, uh, the hero of the rest of his generation, and so are we because we're going to stop this. We're going to take this all the way to court. And that's what I tell my Jew lawyer to write them a check for $20 million and they, they say fine and they never hear from him again. Is that a typical weekend for me? Sure. What the fuck? Is, why are you judging me? That's all I have to say. You can shut the video. <laughs> Mike, we've got it all. Uh, could you just state your full name? Of course, Michael Jackson. The king of pop. Can I get can I get dressed now? Oh. oh, there was no reason, Michael, for you to do that naked. Actually, we just realized that. Was, you mean I did that entire thing naked and I didn't have to? You people are disgusting. I'm going to sue you. I, why am I here? Well, it's ten years later. The boy's 22 now, and uh, he wants to press charges. <laughs> what, did, what, what? It was in the agreement. He can never do this, no matter how long he was. Well, apparently he was a minor. That it's not a tight agreement what where's that Jew lawyer Kardashian he's dead that's right oh my god can Caitlyn Jenner do law I was Caitlyn Jenner before fucking Caitlyn Jenner was and then, and then wait a minute so now there's a wait I have nothing what does this mean this means we'll probably put you in jail I'll, I'll never survive in jail look at me I'm frail <laughs> I'm what my older brothers would call flimsy. 
my older brothers had cute nicknames. They all had cool mm-hmm. nicknames for each other. Like, you know, they were all like, hey, sp- <laughs> you know, uh, uh, Hunter and, and Sparkaroo and Girlfucker. <laughs> Stuff like that. And, and, and mine was, you know, mine was a very, dis- <laughs> I, mine was a bad nickname. <laughs> I was, uh, you know, a faggot. <laughs> <laughs> and that was, uh, Jermaine gave me that. <laughs> oh, God. And Jermaine asked Chris Rock, is, uh, Chris Rock thinks Jermaine is one greasy nigger. <laughs> he said it in a special. And he is disgustingly greasy. <laughs> they, they, they talk the, the disgusting male talk where they insult women, like, oh, they, you know, they, the things they say about them. <laughs> and, and for that, I'm going... Uh, 22, he can testify now. What the fuck happened? $20 million? What's that? Just nothing? <laughs> what do you do with the $20 million? Uh, He's got a Corvette. I can see what that's... Uh, what? A, what? The Cayman Islands? <laughs> His parents are where? They bought the Cayman Islands? <laughs> Disgusting white trash people. Uh, so who's fucked? Me, I'm fucked. <laughs> Their kid wasn't fucked. The kid fucked my mouth. Every time a kid fucks my mouth, I'm in trial. <laughs> Somebody called the king of Bahrain. I've got to go there. I can't go to... J- Look at me. I'm in pajamas. If I go to Gen Pop, what if I go to Gen Pop? Yeah, I'm watching a lot of uh, Orange is the New Black. Well, my balls are the new blue. My, my skin is the new... Uh, whatever the fuck it is. I, I can stop the video. I can't do this anymore. I'm doing actually. I'm doing a remake of Dirty Diana, and I'm very distracted. I've got to get to the O2 Arena rehearsal because yeah, you let Doctor Conrad and he's going to put propofol in me. I, I set up a fucking operating room in my bedroom. 150 grand a week for propofol. I need to do these concerts. There's a goddamn IV in my bedroom. <laughs> I'm trying to erase the, the the memories, the disgusting memories of me. You know, I don't know. Getting a blumpkin from children. Oh. The one kid was chubby and thought I didn't like him, and I just oh. it was odd. I wasn't as attracted to him as I was to the others. He was a big fat kid, <laughs> but I felt bad for him. You know me, I love children. I wanted to include him, <laughs> so I made him. Uh, Take me to the bathroom. And I made him do horrible things. I can't even say out loud. But he was a uh, a chubby boy. He deserved attention. So I made him blow me while I, I, I shot. Oh, God. And that's a blumpkin. And he loved it. I made him some blumpkin pie. <laughs> Trumpkin oh. pie. I made him trumpkin pie. <laughs> and then we watched the Charlie Brown special, the Charlie Brown, the story of the great trumpkin head. <laughs> trumpkin looks like a jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> I want to go to Bahrain. <laughs> you could use a uh, you you could use a little boy like a, like a, you're spinning a top. This is a great thing. There's no paternity. I'll keep my money there. No pat- I don't have to pay anybody off because it's perfectly legal to just discard these boys. Use them like pin cushions and throw them in the garbage. And then they're just used as, you know, pa- pawns in like a Russian roulette game or something. And they die a horrible death. But it's like they didn't even exist. Well, slaves give birth to slaves. I don't care about that. I'm justified. I, you know, I know I'm adding to the misery of this child's life, but how is that my fucking fault? I, I fell a little way. I was a king of pop. <laughs> this kid's working at the Sunoco station. I don't mean this on kind of something, but fuck him. I can't stop doing the Michael Jackson voice. <laughs> this is already lying. I need someone has to stop me. I can't stop doing it. It's like that time I couldn't stop saying Tucker Fredrickson. <laughs> or Alex Ochoa. <laughs> I, I'm going to try. I can't do it. <laughs> I have to stop doing it. Okay, I have to stop doing it. I'm going to stop doing it. I'm going to stop doing the Michael Jackson voice. Art, stop doing it. Art, you don't have to do the Michael Jackson voice for people to like you. <laughs> Art, 
you're not, you have other things you're good in life at than the Michael Jackson voice. As a matter of fact, you're not good at that. <laughs> I know, but what am I going to? I go, God, I love it. I love doing it. So anyway, this was supposed to be a tag. Well, a tag, right? Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, the, 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 the lovely lady, uh, Steve and, uh, and Michelle, we didn't know if we were gonna, they were going to let us air the, the, the interview. They're going to let us air. They're real people. We will love them. So we went back and forth. They called. We can air it. And you're going to hear right, right now this, uh, you know, you'll hear what I'm talking about. Uh, wonderful, cute little thing. We love these two. And listen. An opening. It's just a, okay. Here we go. The Audi Quitter Podcast. I'm not going to do that anymore. Right. Uh, because of our guest. If it was just Bob, we'd be doing that. <laughs> We've been doing this all night. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, it's a special show. You know, this is why I got to tell you, mm-hmm. I, I don't have a ton of fans, but the ones I do have are, are just wonderful people. I, I consider them family. Mm-hmm. I really do. And uh, something happened uh, last week that shows that. And uh, it, 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 it's something that's kind of touching. Believe me, Brad Pitt would not be doing what I'm doing right now for his fans. He wouldn't care. He'd be smoking hash through a Coke can with Quentin Tarantino. That, by the way, is documented there. What are you touching over there, dude? I'm just making sure all the... What, what, are, you? what, what, what are we, the ru- Rush and the <laughs> studio? <laughs> making sure the levels are... <laughs> Jenny lead us in yeah. time. <laughs> How's the bass going? <laughs> Uh, so Bob Levy's here. That's not the special thing. Oh, <laughs> He's here quite a bit. That's just the but uh, Danny, uh, you know, I get quite a bit of fan mail to the to the to the house here. It goes all over the place. Yes, some went down the shore. Some goes to my mother. Some goes to Bob. He gets all <laughs> it excited. Does. Thinks it's for him. And like, oh, no, for Arnie. <laughs> and uh, and and a person contacted Dan in a more personal way and made a request. And I thought it was a touching, wonderful, romantic thing. And I said, I'm going to do this. And we'll ask the person if we could do it on the air because it might be fun. And the person agreed very graciously. So we're going to do it tonight. That person is here. We're calling her Nancy. <laughs> no, not We're going to have to cut again. Uh, no, Nancy. <laughs> Did you ever see there's a Benny Hill sketch where he's, uh, interview, he's playing like an interview guy and there's a mob guy who's wanted by the mafia and he's in the witness protection program and his, <laughs> his face is blocked out <laughs> and they go on the air live and by mistake the lighting guy blocks out the host's face and you see the... <laughs> That was great. And they go, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Your face is, wait a minute, cut. <laughs> See the guy terrified. You're a gunshot. Uh, no, yeah, I got that name. But she wanted her name changed because uh, obviously she doesn't want to be known as a fan of mine. <laughs> uh, but uh, she's in a relationship. Her name is Nancy and she's a New Englander. And I got to tell you, the people of New England, Boston and outside of Boston, are so good to me, which is odd because yeah. the Yankee Red Sox thing, I sell more tickets there quicker. More mm-hmm. books, more stand-up tickets, more people uh, listen to my shit uh, than, than anywhere in the country. And, I God, I feel such an affection for them. The hardest I've ever heard an audience uh, go crazy is the Comedy Connection, Faneuil Hall in Boston. I made a bet with Nick DiPaolo that if the Red Sox beat the Yankees in the playoffs and, went through, and then won the World Series, I would do an entire set, an hour-long set at the Comedy Connection with a red with a red sock hat on. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. After the first gig I have back at the, uh, the at the connection, which was one of the best clubs in the world, not there anymore. After the Yankees lost, I go on stage. I pull out the hat. They start going crazy. As I put the hat on, I, it's like Springsteen singing "Born to Run" in Jersey. The place went absolutely berserk, and I had to do the whole fucking set oh. with a hat on. Boston hat. I wouldn't do that for Cincinnati. <laughs> Not Cleveland, those gutter snipes. <laughs> gutter snipes. I love Jesus them all. Jesus Christ. But Boston. So this emanated from Boston and the New England area. So Nancy's here. Nancy, how are you? Good, how are you? Great. <laughs> there was some ugliness before that you'll never hear. Yeah. That was so fucking funny. But Dan the comedy killer doesn't want to run. The comedy killer. Bob Levy's here. And Dan is so restless. Dan, please sit down. What are you doing? You, you think we were doing the like special effects for the latest Star Wars? <laughs> Three of us are sitting here talking. <laughs> and he got, mad, he got mad at me. Making sure the levels are right. Yeah, Bob, what happened? Why was he mad at you? I don't know. I just said, I, I took I took his side and he yelled at me. Well, what, what, what were you going to say? I said, Dan's right on this one. And right about he what? He said, 
No, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. stop. <laughs> you know what I mean? But the whole thing was I said he's right. And he goes, Bob, stop talking. Well, it's frustrating. I, I took your side. I'm like, it's frustrating because Dan is making it like, A, you know, we can't just edit out everything. <laughs> and B, like anybody listens anyway. I'll tell you, listen. You, you make it sound like nobody fucking listens. They, Everybody they, listens. They, they, not a lot of people listen to the show. Yeah, a lot I mean, of people. I'm comparing it to Stern, where anything you said got new, it made news. Yeah, that was 1998. I would say stuff about, the like, like, I remember during the news, I would say stuff about, I don't know, like uh, fucking uh, Britney Spears being fat. It would be in page six. <laughs> Arnie Lang says Britney Spears is fat. And seven. Uh, Kevin, or Kevin Foyderloid, or knucklehead fucking husband. <laughs> yeah. One time I said that he thought the blue part of the globe was the sky. I, I don't know that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and that ended up in the fucking Daily News. <laughs> this would have. <laughs> this, oh, this would have. Oh, this is major news. <laughs> this, Dan squashed out a major news story within comedy and comedy <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> uh, so, so Bob's here. And, and, and Nancy, first of all, she's a wonderful girl. Oh, yeah. Does not belong in this room. And... Uh, that's in your words explain what happened what, what why are you here and what are we going to do tonight you're going to call him and tell him that but I we don't know what well, you're just saying him like yeah <laughs> you have to say it start from the beginning tell the audience like as if you're telling me for the first time yeah okay so and what's his name again is his fake name we're getting uh, fake name. I, I think it was richard richie richie okay richie right? richie. richie and nancy got so richie um is very sweet and he's very good to me right and um I was really bitchy to him uh-huh. the day before Easter. What happened? Do you want to get into detail? Because you have that's the one thing we don't have our details. A right. detail. Okay. So you I didn't was, cheat on him. Um, no, right. never, never. Okay. He's the love of my life. Aww. Right. And um. <laughs> it, well, you don't. You don't want to get into what you did. <laughs> what did you do? I. I. He was like, "Let's go out for coffee," because I was so tired. And I said no. Right. Said, <laughs> Wait, you said no to coffee? That's I why said, we're doing this? I said no to coffee. <laughs> and, then, and then he left. And he right. said, I'll let you get some sleep. And then I texted him. I'm like, I can't believe you're leaving right now. And he's like, what is wrong with you? Do you want to go out for coffee? And That's it? She just said, I want some Sanka. Well, that and That's I, the fake story. I, th- I bet it sounds yeah. like you fucked a black guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that the course, coffee reference? What was the story with the dinner? You. He cooked a dinner or something, and I cooked a dinner, oh, okay. and he um, he ate it anyways, even though it was the most disgusting thing I've. You I've cooked ever a bad made. dinner. <laughs> to me, that's worse than cheating. <laughs> yeah, most women do anyway. Wait, so wait, so let's let's compound things. So coffee, <laughs> bad dinner. What? Keep going. What happened? Uh, every week. Well, maybe not every week. That's when you blew every other week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I just want the fourth row. I'm kidding. Yeah. So what? So what, did they, because. You'll hear what you're making. You want me to do here, and I gladly do it. But I think we're missing some part. We, of yeah, something. No, I do a lot of stuff <laughs> to like really piss them off. So it's compounded, right? Well, you seem so nice. What do you? I mean, like honestly, you don't seem bitchy. Like I, I've no bitches. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I can be bitchy. Yeah. Yeah. What was the worst <laughs> thing you've done to him recently that's been really bad besides the eggs? Uh, he's called me, and I've just ignored his phone call. See, that's not cool because he doesn't know what you're doing. Right. That's called, uh, me and uh, my uh, girlfriends have had a name for that. It's called Every Night. <laughs> <laughs> it's called What Was I Thinking? Ignored his phone call. Why? <laughs> what, why'd you ignore his phone call? Because Ray Allen couldn't find his sweater? <laughs> <laughs> his underwear in the no, car. No, I mean, what? Honestly, I mean, that's ridiculous. And in Boston, by the way, you make a joke about that, you get killed. <laughs> <laughs> the black guys still hop to it up there, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Honestly, in Boston, if a bla- if you're at a, a white guy's at a light and it turns green and a black guy's crossing, like the black guy will run. He'll 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 get a skip in a step, like you know, Not like, like Levar Burton trying to get out of the noose. Yeah. <laughs> I changed the black guy's name. I said, "What's your name?" He said, "I said, no, it's Toby." <laughs> of course, I'm kidding. Get uh, racism is everywhere and it's ugly. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. That's why we bring it up clap. so people realize. So uh, right. That's why. That's why uh, Bob. <laughs> Dyed his hair black in protest. <laughs> <laughs> but now his hair's been gentrified. It's all white now. <laughs> I'm back to being a racist. So, uh, yeah, he's back to his natural habitat. <laughs> so, so he sounds like a great guy. First of all, uh, can we say what he did, like, at uh, uh, service? I mean, a that, hero. Right? Right? He, he yeah. sounds like a hero, right? He is, uh, yes. A Marine. Yes, a Marine. And that, that means tough. I mean, that means a tough guy. That's a guy. Can we cut out me saying she had sex with a black guy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> he might like that part. It, but first of all, Richie is white, right? Yes. Okay, good. Good. I'm, I'm sure. I mean, because if he wasn't, I'd ask when your dad fell. <laughs> <laughs> it was, of course, an accent. No. So, so you've been going out for how long? I don't know. If... Eight months. Eight months. Yeah. Wow. So that's no kidding. And you're hiding it well. Next month, the kid is coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's that damn jacket. But you guys seem like a, you, you seem like a very, I don't know, bitchy. Like again, like you can tell when a woman is like all the jokes. I'm. That's why I guess you're a fan of mine. I guess Stern and that type of. I love the fact that you're that way because so many people are uptight now. You can tell you have such a cool sense of humor. Yeah. I mean, a lot of women would have walked out three jokes ago. <laughs> uh, and I thank you for that. And so he, he's a marine, <laughs> and he's at, he's going to school now. Yes. And he's a fan of mine, I guess, right? This is what... This is what right. Huge. <laughs> Huge fan. What? Does he know me from Stern, I guess? Or, or I mean, just, I'm, you know, stand up? The podcast. He, the he, podcast. Knows, yeah, right. he knows you, I think, from Stern. Right, right, of course. But Original. he doesn't care about Stern. You're <laughs> well, more that's, important. That's all right. Well, uh, you know, again, it sounds like a guy I would do anything for because uh, he's the reason, quite frankly, I have this beautiful penthouse that I just paid off. Exactly. Thank you. And we have this lovely country. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that what? That if, if I can save this world, very insincere. I please. no. I mean that. I mean, you know, honestly. So, how old are you guys? What are you? What are you? Late twenties, probably. Sure, I'm twenty nine. <laughs> uh-huh. No, you look so. And uh, is dare I say wedding bells in the future? Maybe no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Funer- <laughs> funeral bells. <laughs> so, so you you made him mad, and he's apparently very mad, and you want to make up with him. Yes, I And do. so you have an idea on how to make up with them. What do you do? You, you somehow, how do you get in touch with me? I contacted someone right. through a company, and they contacted a, a company. company. A company. <laughs> you call my agent? Does that mean a, you know, or the, the <laughs> warehouse you used to work at? I don't know. Chubbycomedians.com. Uh, all right. So, uh, so, so, so what gives you the idea <laughs> to get me to call? What gives you that idea? Because... He, just, he, you're the only person like he talks about that he thinks is funny. Is that true? I'll be like, I'll send him blonde jokes. He won't think it's funny. I'll what? No, nobody. Like, what kind of no, joke? No, glory no, hole jokes. He won't think that. He, glory. He, he doesn't think it's funny. <laughs> but you talk about they were great in the and 80s. That's funny. <laughs> well, that, that's that's again, that's very touching. Uh, so you get the idea that maybe if I call him for you, <laughs> to say you love him. You'll make you. You guys will get back together. Yes. And you'll be nicer. And I will be nicer. Yes. And maybe you'll cook a good fucking meal. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you go to cook school? Learn how to cook. This advice from Bob Lee be brought to you by Budweiser. <laughs> Why don't you go to cook school? <laughs> yeah. This fucking. That's not what they call cook, cook school. It shows all over TV. Watch one. Cook school sounds like I don't even know what that sounds like. Hey. Literally, a two-year-old would have worded that better. <laughs> Daddy, go to cook school. <laughs> Mama done left. Yeah, did, Bob went to the Dane cook school of comedy. <laughs> no, please. Don't, don't fuck. That hurts more Dane than Cook a Boston guy, by the way. Yeah. I love Dane, by the way. Calm down. Yeah, of course you do. He's very funny. He learned how to use MySpace quickly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and and uh, th- I mean, honestly, I- I'm joking around because I'm, in- I'm very insecure because I can't. My self-esteem will not allow me to think that. Uh, you know, somebody would like me enough to where you know I could uh, I could make up for a bad meal being cooked. Uh, <laughs> That's a start. That th- this is very you know this is very flattering. Yeah. And I wish Bob was a hot chick so I could get some sort of you know to do be imp- impressing Bob. <laughs> no, I mean you're right about everything. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, way off the mark. No, she, you need to learn how to cook. <laughs> All right, you're pretty. You go to cook school. Go to cook school. You can't. You can't live on looks alone. Okay. Yeah. You got to. Bob be, found that out. You got to be good in at least two rooms in the bed. The bedroom <laughs> the, and the, and the kitchen. That's right. And never take a shit in front of. Oh them. my God, that's terrible. Well, truthfully, that's a, that's how you have a marriage. You would never do that, right? Never. <laughs> never. Been married eight years. Never knew if my wife took a shit. Well, absolutely. <laughs> I think they, the hot chicks do get a vaccination where they don't shit. <laughs> uh, so, so you think this will work? First of all, like we're gonna call him. What? It's it's a ten thirty on a Monday night. Is he watching the game? Is he a sports fan? We got the Villanova North Carolina game on. Huh? He is a sports fan. Yes. Right. So he's probably watching the game. Right. I hope so. 
Do you think he's even wondering where you are? Yes. Yeah, well, what are you supposed to be? Were you supposed to be with him tonight? What happened? First of all, you drove down from Boston? This is insane. (laughs) He thinks that I'm at Zumba, so I told him I would call him. Is that true? Yes. I made a Zumba joke before. Yes, you did. And you were supposed to be at, what is Zumba? I just just said that because I've heard it. That's a a spin class? No, you just plop your ass up and down. I don't know. It's a certain type of exercise? Dance. Dance. It's It's a country in Africa. What, what is it? What do you do in Zumba class? You plop. <laughs> you <laughs> stretch. <laughs> right? You stretch. You so we're going to call him right now. Okay. And I'm going to tell him. I'm going to gra- ease into the fact that this is already live. And, oh, my God. I can't believe we're doing this. I'm very insecure about it. He was one of the first people to shake your hand when you were at Foxwoods. Which explains the sore. <laughs> 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 and the bad food on my hand. <laughs> No, no. When so he came to see you both came to see me do stand up recently? No, he went to see you with his friend at Foxwoods. Oh wait, the guy who shook my hand was with the hot blackjack. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the Puerto Rican chick with heels in the floor. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Kevin Pierce had a dat- tattoo of her dead brother on her neck. <laughs> <laughs> no, was it, so so we went. To, how long ago was that? December. And. Uh, well, what well, you know? Well, first of all, next show's on me. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get you tickets and everything. Yeah, unless he gets mad at me right now. <laughs> yeah, this may not work. Out yeah. Right. Um. So, in other words, was I your first choice? I think you're bullshitting me. Was no, uh, I'm Was not. Jason Bateman not around? Either <laughs> <laughs> Jason Bateman. <laughs> Fucking guy hasn't been on TV since 1980. Yeah, because he's in the movies. No. Are there yeah. people that you call yeah. first? No. Really? No. Bob, do you believe that? I don't believe it. Anybody I... at the BCN, the Z Morning Zoo? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're going to blow a five o'clock whistle with Nancy and Richie. <laughs> and I guess, guess what, guys? Nancy made a bad meal with Richie. And so we got some lover boy. <laughs> Everybody is working for cook school. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're trying to raise money so Nancy can go to cook school. <laughs> yeah. Go keep that man. She went, she called the Bob Levy uh, hotline, the advice <laughs> hotline. And she said, I made a bad deal. Like, I'm not leaving with the advice of the year. <laughs> and it was, pulls it out of his ass. Where did he think of this stuff so quickly? Why don't you go to cook school? That'll be $22. <laughs> it's, it's cheaper than cooking <laughs> school. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, uh, Nancy has not taken her coat off. A very good sign. She's very... Yeah. She brought cupcakes, too. Did you... Br- get out of here. She Why are you going to tell me that? Box. Look at the box over here. It's really? Yeah. Well, yeah, that's how... First, that, those are all cupcakes? Yeah. <laughs> It was like a pea coat or something. <laughs> uh, well, that's very nice. See, again, the, the, the Wingland people very nice. You they said, are. You're not I, Irish, you said. You didn't you, cook them, did you? But I didn't go to cook school. Yeah, so don't no, wait. You, <laughs> you made them? <laughs> you really made them. Did you? Well, let's see. Maybe, oh, wait. <laughs> let's maybe I won't like it. Let's see. Should we taste it first? Let's open it. What is he doing right now? They're stuck to the top of the box. Oh, okay. I tried to open them. But, the, but, but, Dan, but Dan, 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 sit down. Let's not open up the spare doors box. Yeah. God forbid I tell a joke about this edgy damn or something about cupcakes. It's a boyfriend. And, uh, if you open those cupcakes, I'm stopping it. <laughs> Can we stop it, please? Please. Uh, come on. Let's stop it. <laughs> what are you fucking so worried about over there? I don't get it. What is your problem? He looks after you. Dan doesn't like the J. You got to see how a fit. Dan is so by the book. Oh, he doesn't, jaywalk. So he doesn't jaywalk in, in the city. He's so offended. You don't? You no, never he, work I, between. And he runs walk. like Julie Andrews. <laughs> I do not. He's got his backpack, and I'm just walking like a New Yorker walks. I don't care about the fucking light. He's like, oh, we got to go ahead. Yeah. There's, like, there's a car four miles away. Yeah. Artie, we went, I, we went shopping the other. He goes, take a walk with me. We're going to go to the store. Shopping where? It's fucking eight miles that way we walked. We walked about eight miles to a fucking supermarket. Where? Why? I don't know. He said, I got to get some stuff, and we kept walking and walking. Why'd you do that? You're a weirdo, man. Yeah, okay. Well, Dan, well, Dan's a rich kid, and he likes to hide that. Yeah, too. uh-huh. Yeah, whatever. Well, we'll ask Nancy. Oh, no, I had to go to Walgreens. You'll we'll ask Nancy. Uh, at Fort, at- uh, you, you, you're a woman. You have good... If uh, someone's father owns, like, a thousand laundromats <laughs> and a few hotel, uh, like, apartment buildings, would you think they're rich? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, Dan, Dan says no. I think he's got a big inheritance. And this is just like a novelty. <laughs> like like he's, 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 he's ghettoing like, it with me. You're like a white Jefferson. I work with a disgusting slob who's uneducated. <laughs> I have to keep cutting And off. I was a subordinate for years. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's very abusive. <laughs> how many? How many? How many? How many? He sold them. Three. He had three. So that's a lot of money. Yeah, three what? 
laundry mats. Yeah, believe me, you're getting a lot of money there. You're getting a lot of money. Right? No. Nance? <laughs> Nancy, you're rethinking this. <laughs> All right, let's go. Now, what? what where's you? What you gonna be doing? Right? Gonna be, well, give me the. Is he be sitting down watching the game, seething about you're not being there? I have no idea. You have no idea what he's doing. No. Have you uh, met him? <laughs> <laughs> you know nothing about the guy. I'll be your Zumba teacher. <laughs> Yo, what's up? <laughs> this is Nancy Zumba teacher. This is uh, Mr. Bachigaloop. <laughs> I made her a cook place. Man, this broad can plop. <laughs> this bitch is plopping all over the goddamn place. <laughs> I told the bitch, go to cook school. <laughs> she don't want to listen. This is Zumba class. I'm over here on uh, uh, Faneuil Hall, yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's you're, right. You're going to call and you're going to hear your next dancer. That's what's going to fucking happen. <laughs> All right, Let, so let's try to, want to try to do this? So I'm about to try <laughs> and... Uh, you know, again, the fact that you thought of me out of everybody to, to, to somehow get yourself back is unbelievable. Is anybody else? Uh, Johnny Manziel, you didn't think of him nope. first? Nobody replied. Am I the first white guy you thought of? No. <laughs> <laughs> no only Audie replied. Tom Brady. I think she's. I think she's. Tom a, Green. Does she have a suicide vest on? I don't like I don't trust her. I don't trust her at all. I think. Are you ISIS? <laughs> <laughs> yes, my boyfriend is a big fan. <laughs> He very did. big fan. Bob you, patted you, her down when she walked in. Yes, more. we'd like a very big... Uh, my boyfriend loves you. He saw you at the Fox one. <laughs> he said, death to infidel! <laughs> Cut the Chris Cuomo outside my apartment. Cook for him. Kill All right, him. We're, about to, we're about to call. We're calling him Richie. Nancy's boyfriend of eight months. And we're, I, because he's a big fan of mine, I'm going to try... To get them back together again. Apparently, she made a bad meal and didn't answer the phone. <laughs> Fucking which awful is, meal. My like, God, <laughs> do you know what a Jersey relationship that's called? That's called like that's called like you know cuddling. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my God, something else has got to be going on here. There has to be. You don't want to admit to it. You can. No, like every other week, I'm a bitch to him. But right, okay. Every other but week, what? Well, define something. bitch. Like yeah. He's like so sweet to me, and I'll just be like, "No, forget about it." <laughs> every girl, oh, every girl I went, they, they do bitchy stuff. Like uh, they uh, they they yell at me because I can't go to their uh, sister's wedding. Yeah, uh, even though they're in it, uh, they 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 take a forty thousand dollar engagement ring and leave. They uh, <laughs> yeah, they uh, they keep starting to stop on the podcast because I said something. <laughs> the first two, though, at least I got sex. Yeah. They blame you for where they live now? No, I did. Yeah, right. Exactly. 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 Did you move him to a different place? No. Okay. No. Let's stop this. Just... Can we stop it, please? No. All right. We're going to call. <laughs> we're, now, now, we're going to call him. And I'm going to have to say his real name. Maybe we could bleep it out. I'll figure it out. I have to decide what I'm going to do. Do you have a teacher at Zumba class? Like, uh, <laughs> what do you have at Zumba class? You just do it yourself? Do you her gotta... name is Sarah. What's your name? Sarah. Uh, does he know Sarah? No. All right. All right. What about the cook place? What's the guy's name? <laughs> cook place? Yeah, use the guy's name that she would he would know. This maybe. is Bruce Bodavage. I teach uh, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's call him then. This is, I'm nervous. I'm going to try to get these two back together simply because he's a fan of mine. If this goes to machine. If this is Lama Terrorism? <laughs> Hello, is this Baha Ashraman? <laughs> you got with Nancy? We get to cut a head off. Uh, are you nervous at all, Nance? Very. You Why? are. This is the sweetest thing somebody could do for. It's uh, really nice. Okay, here we go. It's it's a drinking. You gotta bleep it out later, okay? Because uh... <laughs> your call has been forwarded to an automated voice message. <laughs> that was an awful meal. <laughs> all right, <laughs> all right. Well, that's all right. It happens. No. Does he have caller ID? Is he looking at the phone? He probably thinks it's a bill collector. Yeah, you want to call him? Well, what if you call him and say, "Pick up the phone"? I, uh... I'm with some guy. 
because I was going to do a whole thing. Of, uh, see if I'll we'll call right back then. Is this is his apartment or something, Nance? It's his house, yeah. It's his house. He lives in Boston proper or uh, Rhode Island? Rhode Island. Okay. Uh, he's probably busy taking your stuff out of the house right now. <laughs> Sorry, he's busy. He's afraid to answer. Your call has been forwarded to an office. Does he have a, a water mail? So this is a cell phone call. So if I leave a message, you can't hear my voice leaving a message like an old voicemail. No. Right, Nancy? No, he has to check no, it. It's, it's, um, <laughs> you want to? Uh, you know what? You're gonna have to say pick up. Then I think. <laughs> yeah. Bob, we have an hour to kill. Do your plug. <laughs> uh, we're gonna be in Scranton Friday with Artie doing a benefit. That's right. Warrior we point. We got the benefit. That's right. Go to RevBobLevy.com. Come on out. Support the vets. Yeah, we're gonna do a show that uh, all the money's hey. going to. Oh, wait, wait. Warrior wait. point. Baby. 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 <laughs> Can you hear me? <laughs> he picked up, but he's not talking. <laughs> <laughs> what did you make him, truthfully? <laughs> really? We need to know what the fuck you made him. My throat still hurts. <laughs> Oh, my Yeah. <laughs> I'll try again. He'll pick up for... Uh, well, text him. Say, pick up. This is me calling. Yeah. Say, say That this strange is, number is me calling. Pick up. No, just say, uh, you're stuck on the side of the... He ain't gonna come get you. <laughs> Holy shit, you're fucked. Already got a new roommate. Terrorists have taken over Cook School. Hello? Hello? Hello. Hey, hello. He picked up. Hello. Sir? Who is this? He hung up. He hung up. That was it. I think Nancy should have spoke. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, well, a uh, big tournament update. Mm. But, did, 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 what, is, is this, this is a close game after Villanova went nuts. Well, okay, it's, a, it it's basically... To pick, to pick up the phone? Did yeah. it go through? <laughs> yep. Well, let's see what happens here. Okay. Dan, go ahead. I just hope he doesn't think I'm with some guys. You are. Well, oh, yeah. Thanks for not calling this guy. <laughs> now he does. <laughs> the Bob invitation was a mistake. <laughs> Baby. Yeah. Hello. Uh, excuse me. I got on the phone. Hello. Uh, who am I speaking with? This is Steve. Yeah, Steve, this is uh, Sergeant Ed Davenport of the Framingham <laughs> no, Police not. Department. Oh, my God. Uh, and uh, you, you date Michelle? Yep. Steve, uh, does, that, does the voice that I'm talking to you, uh, this isn't Ed Davenport. That was kind of a joke. Does this voice sound familiar to you? Yeah, this is Ari. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any idea why I'm with, uh, with Michelle right now? Uh, I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Michelle contacted uh, my producer, Dan, of my podcast, mm -hmm. and said that she uh, was very upset because you two uh, got to an argument. And she said the argument was her fault. And she, she told Dan in an email that Artie might be the one guy who could get us back together. If he calls uh, uh, on behalf of me and says, I love him and I'm sorry, it might work. So I said to the email, I said to Dan, I said, this is, uh, this is something that, you know, I, my fans are like my family. I think this is very touching. I said, ask Michelle if she would be willing to come here and we could call him live on the air because I have a podcast. If she doesn't want to, I'll do it private. And if you guys don't like any of this, we won't air it because it's not live. I don't want to bust your chops, but I thought it'd be funny. And uh, uh, so that's the deal. I'm calling on behalf of Michelle. <laughs> well, but she really won't tell us what she did. She said she cooked a bad meal, which yeah. to me is very bad. Uh, and, uh, and and she said also that uh, you would probably be cool with this. Um, but uh, women can misread men. <laughs> uh, Steve, I, first of all, uh, does this sound like... Are you guys in an argument that uh, that you're not speaking with her? 
Yeah, she's not going to take it in the shitter. <laughs> you see? That's great. Okay, well, listen, now we know the truth. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, you know, I don't have to just throw her off the balcony then. <laughs> uh, well, Steve, you know, Steve well, uh, I don't know what it really is. I think that's for, that's the first logical thing. Is she what the fuck was in the cooking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, men don't care about the meals. Yeah, exactly. Uh, if you take it on the shitter. <laughs> yeah. Steve, are you, uh, first of all, uh, you know, uh, is this call surprise you at all? You sound very excited. Yeah, it doesn't matter. To me. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Well, uh, he sounds like an enormous fan. Uh, you sound more annoyed by this than excited. Yeah. <laughs> she does want to make it. Michelle, up to it you. sounds like you misread Steve. I don't think he likes this that much. No. Is that he? He doesn't like it. No. <laughs> it's making it worse. I think. <laughs> what it, dude, you know listen i think it sounds like you guys first of all you guys are uh, if you guys are really fans is any of this true <laughs> did you see me at foxwoods yes. and, uh, i did okay steve listen i uh i thought uh, you know uh on behalf of michelle she really does sound like i don't for, and we'll cut out your names and everything uh or the whole thing if you want uh but uh i i really thought she was sincere about wanting to patch this up and she looks upset. And be real I, nice. I, I, yeah. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to kid anymore because I thought it'd be more lighthearted. It sounds like you guys might have a little more to work out. Uh, and I don't know if I should get involved in this. Are you okay, Michelle? I'm good. Are you, you are? Yeah. Okay. Steve, uh, uh, do you want me to just not air this? No, you can air it. You can do whatever you want, Art. Well, I don't want to, you know, again, I, I, I just met Michelle and I thought, no, I don't want to add to the problem, you know? But she does seem like she really wants to work on. She it. seems like she's very. Is that Bob Levy? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's up, brother? Well, finally he's excited. What's up, bro? What's up? Uh, Thank what... God we got rid of Artie. Well... Let me tell you something, <laughs> sir. She really has this look like she was very disappointed. For the record, that... for the record, she she seems to really care about. You. She does. Yeah. And yeah. she knows she fucked up, and she wants to make things better. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the fuck up is. She wouldn't tell us. Uh, I don't think it's She's food. She's a bad cook, but the whole thing, she won't take anal, but she promised. Well, I don't think any of this, I don't think any of this is any of our business, obviously. It might be something. Uh, no, but if we, about. if she can decide to give you anal. Bob, you're not helping. <laughs> uh, I'm really trying. Uh, uh, Steve, so do you have anything, do, Michelle, do you want to say anything to Steve, or? Just say. Like, uh, Bob, just let from him From the heart. <laughs> I drove to New York because Four I hours. wanted Artie to tell you that I love you. She seems to love you very much. I mean, that that seems to be true. Artie, let me handle this. You're not doing wait, wait, let, 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 let it marinate a little here. Um, I love you, baby. All right. <laughs> Steve, Steve, okay. You, you don't sound moved by this. Something happened, I guess, that it might be a little more serious. Are you, Steve, are you? Does this touch you in any way? Uh, in shape yeah, of... it's, it's extremely thoughtful, Artie. I mean, yeah. she's a beautiful woman, and she I is. don't care about her. You know, Incred she's incredible. And uh, to tell you the truth, you sound like a very committed, nice couple. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, more than uh, a lot of people. Um, do you think, uh, are you guys going to get back and talk a little bit because of this? Or are you, oh, yeah, you absolutely. Any time? Okay. Uh, now, first of all, she tells us you were a Marine. First of all, thank you for thank doing you, that, yes. man. Uh, oh, I, did, I did stand up over there, and I was here for 10 days, and uh, I turned into a big pussy in 10 days. <laughs> that is tough shit, man. Uh, so uh, where, were, where were you over there, buddy? I was in Marja. Yeah. Afghanistan. Yeah, that's, uh, that's rough. Yeah. And you were there You were there four years? You did four tours? Three tours. Man, so, and now you're done. Can they call you back? No, I'm all done now. Right. And how are you? Any, any, uh, nothing physical, I assume, but uh, mentally, you're doing okay? Doing great, Art. That's great. Good for you, man. I mean, you're tougher than a lot of guys, but, uh, uh, which, you know, we're about to, have, actually, it's a weird coincidence. Uh, uh, Bobby put together, that's what we're plugging tonight, a, a charity for the, for the vets, and we're doing a big charity Friday night, uh, to give money to the vets. Uh, do you know guys, friends, or yourself? You, you seem okay, but, uh, how are, how does the VFW and the veterans, uh, no, the VA, the VA, how do they treat you, people, you know, uh, or, and you? VA hospital treats me very well. Right. But, yeah. uh, you know, I have lost friends to, uh, suicide. Yeah. But, uh, really? That's uh, that's rough, yeah. man. It's basically twenty-two a day, at least. Twenty-two guys yeah. are committing suicide a day. 
Yeah. And and would, now, were your friends who lo- got lost to suicide were they, in your opinion, neglected by the VA, or could they have done more, or just was a hopeless thing? No. Just, I don't know. Couldn't take it. Couldn't take it. It's a mixture, yeah. I mean, it's hard to come back and re, you know, start your life again. And- oh, okay. I, again, ten days over there, I came back and I was like, uh, we were under a mortar attack, and I saw the casual way some of the guys were handling it. The, the guys who were like protecting us. Yeah. We were in a bunker, and some of the guys they were just playing cards with AK forty sevens on their on their shoulders. Um, I, do you feel you're a much different person, Steve? Uh, like, yeah. uh, way different. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a very different person nowadays. For good or bad? Some ways good, some ways bad? Well, I just, you know, keep to myself nowadays. You know, I uh, That's I right. mind my business. Right. I don't create problems for anyone else. Right. You know, I just live my life. That's it. That's Too much I'm... of that crap going on yeah. in America nowadays, so. Yeah, well, again, again you see, you, the thing is it works for you because you sound probably tougher than a lot of people. A lot of done. the guys and girls do that now when they come back. That's for sure. Does yeah. it affect, does it affect the, what? Uh, Michelle, does it affect? Uh, are you sensitive to that? I'm sure you are. You know, it's uh, it, about you know him being to himself and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I'm aware of it, but um, you know, that's that's part of him. That's what makes him him, and that's right. You know, that's what I love about him. I mean, yeah, I, I tell you the truth, I get the vibe that you guys really do care about each other. Uh, you got to see the look on Michelle's face. I just don't want to. Um, I don't know. This turned into a much deeper thing. here. <laughs> I thought it'd be more fun, but it's a little deeper, and I don't mind that at all. Uh, are relationships harder for you, Steve? Like uh, anything like uh, girlfriends or even the stuff with the, your family, friends like that? Or the friends you can't talk to that you used to be able to talk to that just don't get it, t- that type of thing? Um, yeah, I treat you know, relationships differently nowadays, you know? Right. Uh, and, uh... That's about it, really. I don't really uh, care as much. You know, if a woman gives me problems, I'm usually done. Right, that's hard. I don't so, deal yeah. with it. Right. I just I cut the shit out, cut the bad shit out. Does that, uh, <laughs> Michelle, does that have something to do with uh, maybe some issues you have? The fact that he can be that way, sort of stoic? and. No, he's not that way with me. He's right. really sweet. Uh, it's kind of the opposite. That's great. <laughs> that's great. I don't know. I mean, Steve. Honestly, the fact that uh, you're able to laugh at my stupid shit really, you know, it's uh, this is as important as anything I could do is, is making somebody like you laugh, uh, and uh, I appreciate it. Um, I'd love to meet you one day and maybe uh, maybe give back to you a little bit and give you some free tickets. I feel like I owe you money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so you saw me at Fox, which, you know, I'll be at. Uh, in the New England area, and uh, if uh, you and Michelle want to come, uh, I'd love to buy you some tickets and uh, maybe hang out for a night, maybe have some dinner or something. That sounds great, Artie. I appreciate that a lot. Yeah, and she said you're going to school? Yeah, I'm in school. Uh, and how's that going? It's going great. You know, I'm I'm uh, an A student, but uh, she seems to give you a lot of information. <laughs> well, no, no, no. That's all she said. No, That's all she said. I don't have any, just uh, a lot of broad strokes. Uh, and again, whatever you want on or off the air, you can't, this is not live at all. Um, and if you, well, you could take a day and think about it actually. And, uh, we'll, we'll, uh, I mean, I think it's a deep conversation. It's, uh, you sound like a, I'll tell you the truth, you sound like an inspirational guy for a lot of these guys. Oh, definitely. You sound very together four years over there, man. And, uh, I think it sort of proves you could do it, <laughs> you know, um, these are the guys you need to speak with the other right. guys that can handle it, you know? Do you talk to a lot of guys who maybe are a little worse off than you? Yeah, a lot. Yeah. yeah. Um, what, what was, what's your background? You know, did you a blue collar kid? You grew up in the Boston area. What uh, that you went to the army or became a marine because what didn't go to college or didn't want to do anything else? Yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to kill some Taliban. Is that well? Yeah. Hey, listen. Hey, that's the best. Know. That's the best reason to go over there. That's why I wake up in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I want it. That's why I told the recruiter. I told him I just want to kill some Taliban, and boy, did I get to. You did, huh? I did. Well, you need warriors, man. Well, I saw guys over there who did have that after. You need if you're gonna go to war, you need people like you, man. Yeah. Uh, you know, again, you know, a lot of people talk about in and out the other thing. You think about those people in the trade centers uh, who who decided to jump instead of go back. Yeah, there was something worse than jumping. 
off that building. And uh, for no reason, I a couple of crazy guys wanted to fly into a plane. We needed guys like you, man. And yeah. uh, I just hope you really do, you're really being honest with yourself and you really are okay. You know, uh, you sound as strong as a person could be, but I don't know. I, to me, Michelle sounds like a good thing in your life. She seems very, yeah. very caring about you. And I really do think he does love her deep down inside, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you see, I know you can tell. Well, this had to be hard, a hard call to make. Uh, yeah. And believe me, I'd do anything for my fans. And she explained that you know you were you were a fan, and uh, and uh, I'd like to maybe do some more in the future. But yeah, uh, why, why don't we do this? Why don't you just uh, again? This I, I don't want to do anything that's maybe crossing a line here. Why don't you guys take a day and think about this and uh, whether or not you want us to put this on the air? I think it's fact. The only reason I would is because you really seem like an example to people of strength. Yes. Yeah. I mean, four years, man. That That's a lot of time over there. Yeah. And uh, your attitude and the, what you said to the recruiter, they're coming through with it. A lot of guys bail. A lot of guys pussy yeah. out and bail. So you should be proud of yourself. We're proud of you. And I would love to have him. Yeah. I would, I would love to talk to him when I'm in the Boston area with Warrior Point. Uh, yeah, well, we're gonna, be, we, yeah, we're going to do shows all over the place for this uh, charity. Because, you know? uh, man, you guys, you, you guys, if it wasn't for you guys, you know, we wouldn't be able to do what we can do. And uh, it just sucks that the way that this country treats you is when you come back. And that's why we're fighting for this. And uh, I'm not going to stop until the day I die. Which Well, Bob, we don't want to turn into a commercial for you. No, uh, no, it's for both of us. Uh, the, the the message tonight is that Bob is great. No, it's not. <laughs> well, you turned it into that. They are great, and I am I am just. And you're there. great for fighting for them. Uh, no, somebody has to. Well, I okay. doubt they want it to be you. Well, I doubt it too, but I get shit done, motherfucker. I know. I'm the one. That Steve, got are you comfortable with Bob being the person fighting for you? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Yeah, but who else? They don't listen to them. Well, they listen, listen to me. Again, I think Steve likes being to himself. He likes to pick and choose his battles. And uh, yeah, but I, it sounds like he probably privately helps a lot of people out. He, yeah. You don't sound like a rah rah guy, Steve. Right? You're not looking for a parade or anything. Oh, no, <laughs> right? No. Exactly. That's what it sounds. Like. Not at all. He sounds like a man. <laughs> but we need his help. Well, this is what men used to be like. Men, yeah. men, men were always like Ryan Seacrest. You know, yeah. <laughs> a man, a man does shit and doesn't brag about it. Yeah. But. Uh, all right, you know, I'm going to let you go, man, because, uh, but believe me, I don't know if this caused any uh, more of a rift, but uh, God, you got a you got a good woman here, man. She really, she drove to make this happen, and I think she hopefully uh, thought it'd be special for you, and uh, it's special for me, to tell you the truth. Uh, so why don't you go out with him? Well, it's proud that, look at it, well, I'm, not, I'm a heterosexual, <laughs> and it sounds like Steve is very heterosexual. <laughs> Uh, I uh, so listen, uh, Steve. I thank you for uh, for being a fan. And uh, if you want to, uh, no pressure. We'll stay in touch. I'd love to take you guys out, buy you tickets the next time I'm up there, and maybe get a a nice meal on me, buddy. And we'll talk Sounds more. Great. Okay. Maybe. Thank get, you, Art. Go ahead, Baby, yeah. can you just tell me that you love me, please? I love you. Thank you. I love you too, sir. <laughs> Steve, hey, thanks. Pop, love you too. Steve, love thanks, you. man. You be well. Thanks, Art. Bye. Okay. Keep strong, man. Well, uh, God, that was very different than what I thought it would be. <laughs> no, uh, no. No, it sounds like it sounds like there's a, a much bigger issue here, obviously. <laughs> no, no, not at all. You, well, it's yeah, just but... the way the guy... It, look, the, what, he's a tough guy, and that's the way he is, and, and he, you know, he's not going to be all, like, fucking... Uh, which is Simmons why, which is what, right, which is why men, like, Bob is right. Men know men, and that's why if... Uh, you bothered to Michelle uh, talk to a man friend of yours, or in other words, what we call it, people with reason. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> exactly. No, I'm kidding. Uh, you know, I think I would have said, knowing, I said, I know Stevie probably wouldn't like that publicly. Uh, that's why I'd like to talk to you guys in person, maybe. And I'm willing to do that. Because you really, I want to make sure he knows how much you clearly do love him. You know, I can see it in your eyes. Yeah. And, and I think uh, he does know now, for sure. Yeah, but he's not going to show it. He's not the guy that he's going to. What is he going to cry? Well, I know I've done this before with fans, where it's like a surprise phone call, and it's usually like, "Oh, oh my god!" You know, and he's uh, this was uh, much different. <laughs> but this guy, you're talking to a fucking marine. You're not talking to fucking some fucking alcoholic in I know. the fucking back of the room. Well, the big message here is that Bob is great. <laughs> no, it's not. The whole thing is that guy is great. That's the kind of guy we need. Speaking well, you could have left it at that. You could have left it at that guy's great. I but did he went on say to say, and you, that guy, this guy's great, and great people have to take care of him. And that's moi. 
I didn't say great people have to take care with it. We'll play Dan, it. Dan, okay, d- d- cut the tape, Dan, please. Michelle, now, Michelle, do you feel very, very upset that uh, Bob took this away from you? <laughs> took no, he seemed to enjoy my conversation a little oh. better. That's all I'm saying. Now, he, seemed to be, he, seemed to be, he seemed to want to hit both of us with a pipe. Well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> he wants his both to come to Boston. I mean, that guy, first of all, that him. guy's a warrior. Did you hear him? Oh, yeah. He <laughs> killed a lot of Taliban. <laughs> I want to kill Taliban, and I kill a lot of... Let me tell you something. Everybody did What do you need? That That's what you need over there. You don't need people skipping around. Exactly. When that fucking... When those buildings got hit that you could see right across there that are not there anymore, man, I was we would have fucking were. nuked those motherfuckers, okay, and everybody would have been happy. With the nuke thing, of course. Fuck that. Now, you sent people like Steve over there. Yeah, but you let them do their job and fucking open fire on everybody. Rules of engagement. Women and children first. You're scary, Michelle. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> by the way, we'll cut out the, the drug paraphernalia. I didn't realize that you were Pablo Escobar. For <laughs> <laughs> he didn't hesitate to go, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I believe that was mine. No, Michelle, well, do you want to take a day and just think about this? About You want to ask Steve in person about whether he wants us to air? I mean, the, only, the, only, the reason I'd like to air, have it is because it's so real. <laughs> like this, it, it there's really no was. showbiz bullshit about this. You are very sincere in your feelings about him, and I do think that he's an example of strength. That he, guy. Is. he is. He is. He's you know, right. Yeah. And there were no last names mentioned. So no. Yeah, we could bleep out, yeah. you know, whatever. I'll leave it up to him. Whatever yeah. he wants to do, I'm fine with. Okay. Well, on, okay. on, on record, he did say it, so it's good. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah. No, but I mean, look, the, the, you know, he's a tough guy, and he's not going to get all blabbery on that shit, but you can see that he, he does love you. Do you think he wants us to cut out where Bob says he's gr- Bob great? <laughs> I didn't say I was fucking great. I said we need people like him to talk to people. And then, that you, come said, back. And then you said, and then you said, you need great people. Yes, you I did. I need great people like him, not me. I'm just there to fucking. You said great people like me. <laughs> I, I, I meant great people. I'm not saying we're greater or bigger than God. I meant to say that I need great people like him to be able to talk to people that are not as well as Can you do an older John Lennon reference? Michelle's 28. (laughs) Well, he got killed in the fucking 80, 1980, okay? Michelle, uh... You want me to sign what? So so, so you see, uh, do you see yourself... Yeah, first of all, I, I feel bad. Are you okay? Because you really look you, no, you look like... No, but she looks very... First of all, you're very into this guy. Uh, you're not one of these chicks who's bullshitting about this. I like that part of it. But I don't like maybe... You're okay, right? This is not an upsetting thing. No, yeah. no. I just wanted to hear that he loves me. And yeah. It. Okay. Party, she's shaking because it's fucking 20 degrees in here. That's why. <laughs> she's shaking because, it, because you're uh, close to her. <laughs> You look like you're about to interrogate her, you know, about you know the, the Kennedy assassination. <laughs> so which way the head go? Uh, I, so you got? Do you see like a? You want to get married to this guy, Michelle? Down the road? You never know. No, I, I don't maybe. really want to get married. You don't want to get married. Well, this sounds like a very, very odd situation. <laughs> yeah. I will give you guys this. You answer none of the questions the way normal people do it. <laughs> yeah. You love this guy, but you don't want to marry him. You see, you put yourself in that position. The fact, first of all, I'll that I'm, commit to him for the rest of my life. The it fact that I okay. go on a piece of paper, that's all. Well, the <laughs> fact that I made that guy laugh means I'm, I should get an Emmy. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't sound like a lot of people make him laugh. He's not the kind of guy who DVRs Key and Peele. Well, what do you guys, what is there t- movies you like? What kind of music you guys like? That's always telling. Yeah. We're completely opposite. Really? What do you like, gangster rap? No, <laughs> <laughs> no I like, um, oh gosh. How do you say the N word with an A or an E R? <laughs> <laughs> Nigger? <laughs> that's Boston. That's, no, that's a sound clip. You say what? Well, no, you say nigger. You say, but you say it the right way. Dan just marked. No, that you down. say wait, wait, Pop. You say it the way your parents taught you. Yeah, the yeah. way I say it, right? Exactly. Sure. Thank you. I White like people it. are afraid to like admit that nowadays. My parents used to say those people. <laughs> no, they were afraid that they were talking about your friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they were black. Uh. Now say that you, the way you say it, it doesn't sound offensive at all. Well, put sand in front of that. Yeah. <laughs> say, look it over there. There's well, no, no, no. Sand, sand in front of that is what we're our generation. <laughs> yeah. Sand nigger. Right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now that, that's, that's two sound bites. Yeah, well, that sound bites. 
That's like, first of all, I, I, I want to marry her. She's our new Buschetti. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is fantastic. <laughs> and by the way, the, 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 Obama can't say that either. <laughs> He can't say Islamic terrorism or Sandy. <laughs> can you say the Just say the names. It's Sandy or terrorism. <laughs> yeah, say that. This is what I mean about Sand about New I think now I can see why I sell a lot of records in New England. Wait, say it again. Say it again. Sand nigger. <laughs> can, can you say there's an, there's an N, where, N word by my car? Well, it sounded like that where he said uh, there's no, a don't, by don't. My car. <laughs> It sounded like uh, when he when he went to the recruiter, it, he didn't say Taliban. He said something. Like that. <laughs> uh, well, with that, well, speaking of uh, that word, uh, update the basketball score. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's two white people on the other oh, refs. See, New England's not going to get to the A and to the ER for a while. They're very behind us. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, I'll. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I just, I, I really, this was a weird vibe, but also a very sincere vibe. I felt. There's no bullshit. There's re, the people are still real up in, in New England. That's really, the men are still men. Like, that's what a guy sounds like. Exactly. They kick the ass and they don't run around asking you what fucking designer you're wearing. Men nowadays look like they take more fucking time to get rid of their girlfriends, though. Not us. Well, look at me. I, I, you know, <laughs> there's, there's dogs that take them. <laughs> Uh, you got another four-hour drive. Mm -hmm. Oh God! But this is going to change everything. This is going to work. You can see. Yeah, clearly. You know, that was, no, yeah. his voice. I'm telling you. Either I, that, or he's clearly going to be pissed. He's not. Really he's not well, I, he, he he's not thrilled with it. But I think at the end, I, 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 believe me, he should know that we're not some wacky show looking to you know right. take advantage of you guys. And, yeah. Uh, because quite frankly, I'd be like a Taliban. <laughs> a Taliban. Uh, I don't want to go to the recruiter and say I'm going to kill anyone. <laughs> quite effort, frankly, I'd, I'd be effort. dead in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> the effort you put into this to have his favorite comedian. Now, Dan, is, Dan is a liberal fag, and uh, yeah. I mean honestly, you are right. Dan, admit that Chicago. Yeah. Very, Without very, the fag part. Very yeah. very left wing. Well, yeah, you know those little Paris Hilton dogs, the Brussels Griffons? You know those things? You know those little, things little, little things she, teacup dogs that yeah. Paris Hilton has? Okay. Dan has five of them. Yeah, I married into them. Yeah. Okay. They <laughs> were, his favorite were my wife. His favorite is Tippy. <laughs> his favorite is Tippy. <laughs> Dan, call Tippy. For... <laughs> you have five little, those things? Yeah, he yeah. did, yeah. Two of them died. Two of them died. Tippy. <laughs> I got who's, he said, Tippy. Of, of Tippy embarrassment? And Hi, Tippy. I Tippy and Walter died. died. Tippy and Walter. <laughs> I mean, listen, Dan. I mean, honestly, saying tip. If you call a Brussels Griffon tippy, you might be HIV positive. Just remember. <laughs> That's why I name my dogs after black people, because it sounds rough when you're out. Uh, no, really. Here comes a stand up bit. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm just saying. Look at my dog's names. What are they? LeBron, Lennox. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Lennox? Lennox. Lennox who? Lennox Lewis. Lewis. Oh, Lennox Lewis. That's an English guy. He's, He's English. black. <laughs> Black in that He's blingless. He sounds like Peter Sellers. <laughs> he does. Uh, After a fire. Well, I'm going to let the... Uh, I'm going to make sure I take all the cupcakes and let her go. <laughs> <laughs> They're all stuck in the thing. You have to look at them because she said she oh. she cooked them herself. Right. But let me tell you something. This is going to work out. You What you did, you drove this far. This is going to work out. This showed what love is about. Nobody drives fucking four hours to, to somebody's apartment that you know you don't know him, right? Oh. Well, I mean, you she, don't know me. Well, you, I'm, you a, don't I'm America's boy. I'm America, America's friend, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like every asshole out there. That's why you're everybody's fan. You know what I mean? Everybody loves him. But this but, is a good point about the people. I I, I take very very uh, uh, a, a lot of joy in the fact that the, like, fans of mine are like this. They're not they're not phonies. No, they, 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 I'm, I'm I'm serious. They're they're people. Yeah. That uh, the backbone of this country that have been forgotten, quite frankly. It's why Trump is is so popular. That's right. And We're gonna like the guy well. with orange hair <laughs> and <an> orange face. <laughs> and orange she face. saw him. She wants him to win because we need so who so who she's for Trump. Why well, not? But we mean she saw him. She met him. No, she's for him. Oh, for him. Yeah. You gonna vote like for Trump? Him. Yes. Yeah. We need a man in there. Somebody that can fucking tell people fuck you. Yeah. Well, listen. I did. I that's why I think. I, let me tell you something. That's a good argument. That for four years, you, you, you might want someone who ISIS might be a little afraid of. How about that? Exactly. That's you want them you to want. be a little, a little afraid before they're 
you know, we give we give Iran $150 million and they just kidnap our fucking soldiers. <laughs> we <laughs> like gave them. it to him not to bomb us. That was why we gave it to him originally. What pussies? We are. We, no, we look fucking like Obama it. is a oh, big pussy. We look like it. We He's look like it. Imitation N-word. Oh, stop it. Jesus Christ. What? <laughs> I'm, I'm just telling Bob, you. Bob, she's not in show business. You're trying to get it. I don't give a <laughs> shit. I'll try it until I You know what? Showbiz and the mafia have a lot in common, Michelle. Uh, Bob uh, has uh, not been able to get an either one. <laughs> uh, all right, we're going to let you myself. go. You got? Uh, are you all right to drive? You going to be okay? Um, yes. Yeah. Um, Two of those tears. Yes. No, you see, she, she, she's happy. She nah, she's strong. She's strong like him, I can tell. Like, yeah. I got, uh, this worked. Yeah. And the other thing about Michelle is, you know, listen, let me tell you something. But she has a baby. You don't have to worry that that kid's coming out black. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You're not going to lose the mulatto with her. <laughs> <laughs> Dan just pushed the button. Yeah, it's gonna you that Dan's gonna make playlist. His, Dan's gonna get his liberal editing hands all over this. No, no, it's gonna be <laughs> sand nigga. <laughs> it's gonna be sand African American. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we have to fight the sand African Americans. Dan goes to Canal Street, tries to buy uh, fireworks, African American chasers. <laughs> <laughs> What do you need? African American cheesers. Uh, it's a different time. What you talking about? I'm not going to say something like that. <laughs> I'm going to regret. Let me tell you something. Richard Pryor wouldn't have put out an album. That African American is crazy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Pryor made us white kids. I'm 15 years old. I go to buy it. He, Richard Pryor had an album. That nigga's crazy. I go to buy it. Big black kids behind the counter. Prairies. I go. I need a record. Uh, he goes, which one? I go. Uh. Uh. Uh, that's something's a crazy. That uh, <laughs> that Nixon's crazy. <laughs> that Nicaragua's crazy. <laughs> and then he starts busting my chops. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, that uh, Nigerian. Anyway, I just bought the least controversial. I bought like a Bangles album. <laughs> <laughs> I get home. I'm listening to Manic Monday. <laughs> like an Egyptian. I need a Michelle and Steve up there just to get all Boston on them. <laughs> <laughs> what do I need? You little gutter snipe. I need that nigga's crazy. <laughs> And sin, nigga, too. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> the silent majority speaking up on this show. Uh, Michelle, do you have anything to plug? <laughs> Are you the, the you Grand wanna, Dragon at the next meeting? Or? You want to come to Scranton next <laughs> Friday? I, 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 I want to know you're okay with this. Why don't, yeah. you, you, I want you to know uh, that uh, we're, 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 we're your friends. And don't... You know, don't worry about it. We're going to do whatever you want here. You want to take a day and think about it? Well, you want to talk to Steve about airing it? and uh, You want to do that or no? Yeah, I'll ask him. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, talk to Steve. You want to go to a Red Sox game? And again, Do you go to Sox games? You know, yeah. Well, that's true. There's uh, not a lot of... Uh... You want us to get you cooking lessons? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll uh, do it for you. Uh, well, first of all, I think I know why they don't go to Sox games. It's a little, uh, a little dark even on the day. <laughs> <laughs> These days, uh, hit the ball, you fucking. Ah, uh, uh, stop it! <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ! If it was a basketball, you. Uh, well, I, I know uh, Michelle did submit a different name for Black Lives Matter. The first one. <laughs> uh. Uh, again, we keep in touch. By the way, and I'm serious about. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna buy you tickets to the next show, and uh, and we'll have some, we'll have a dinner. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and because uh, we don't uh, want you to cook. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's for goddamn sure. <laughs> for God's sake. Can you go to buy cook school? <laughs> have already paid for cook school. Uh, but but delivered. Michelle, listen to me. I uh, consider us friends. Yeah. Honestly, we 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 love you. We 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 appre I appreciate your. Uh, you guys support of me, and I want to make sure you guys are okay. We're pulling for you, right? Thank and this was a sweet thing you did. We want to see so this go okay. through. Yeah, yeah. Bob, well, Bob's waiting on some blood work. He might not be around. But... <laughs> uh, and uh, try to forget Dan. <laughs> this is Michelle and Steve. This is a. This